we're so worried about messing up our beginner paintings, they're not good anyway. That's what we're learning. Get out there, paint those ugly paintings. Don't listen to people going, oh, you might mess it up. Don't push forward. What? Why? Don't try harder because you might mess up. That makes no sense. Bad art advice from Reddit. Keep in mind with Reddit, you're not getting advice from professional artists almost ever. Most of who's using Reddit in the in most of the art, there may be exceptions, I just haven't found them yet, but most of what I'm seeing on Reddit are teenagers giving each other advice. I'm glad that they're involved in art. I'm glad for that, so I'm not bashing that. I'm just saying they're also probably not the people I'm gonna take art advice from any more than I would take relationship advice from a teenager. Hey, keep that in mind. I see a lot of people posting thinking they're gonna get legitimate feedback and the feedback you usually get in these are just painful. So there was one kid, he posted a painting that he had done of a Gundam. Yes, I know what Gundams are. Matt has like 80 of them stored in my garage right now that he keeps buying but never builds. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's kind of like this little robot guy, I guess is the easiest way. I'm making Gundam fans mad. But that, I mean, that is what they are. Little robot, robot man. So this guy does a painting and you can tell he's a beginner, but I could also tell he's gonna be amazing. Now, I'm not showing you his artwork because he didn't ask me to critique his work and that's not what this is about. But I can tell just by looking at it, he will be good. His perspective was good, like a lot of good there. But he had a very specific question. What can I do to make my subject matter stand out more? Like from the background, it just feels like my edges aren't harsh enough. The advice people gave him, like looking at it real quickly, the only thing that I would say, hype up your contrast, make your darks darker. Everything was like white, it was just too pale, too light, but the shadows were where they should be, just not dark enough. But here's the advice Reddit users came up with. Now, the reason that I'm bringing this up is I want you to consider this. When you post, whether it be Reddit or Facebook or whatever, asking for advice, be cautious of who you're taking advice from because some of this advice can actually make things worse for you. This person, I've ruined too many paintings trying to change or perfect them when I should have just left them alone. No, you didn't. If it wasn't finished, you can't ruin it. Like there's nothing to ruin. There's no point when you're painting something. If it, if you feel like I, I want to make it better, but I'm afraid to mess it up. Who cares? It's not done. It is not finished. You can't mess it up. And especially in the case like this was an acrylic painting. You layer on top of layer on top of layer. And a lot of people get into this, well, I don't want to go further. I don't want to push my skill level. I don't want to push the technique because I'm so afraid of messing it up. I don't want to make it worse, but it's not done. So you're just going to leave it unfinished so you don't maybe make it worse. What? What is the point of that? So you're gonna have an unfinished painting, you're not gonna hang it on your wall, it wasn't done, you weren't totally happy with it. If you looked at your artwork and you thought, I really want it to look better, but I'm afraid to mess it up, do it. Even if you mess it up, you're at least learning. When you stop before it's done because you're afraid to mess it up, you are not progressing, you're not learning. There's nothing to be learned from that. It's just an unfinished piece that you're afraid to push forward. Imagine playing an instrument. Like I learned the I learned the first movement, but I don't want to learn the second movement because it won't sound as good as the first movement. What? Learn the whole song. Like, yeah, parts are gonna sound bad as you're learning. Same thing with painting. Parts are gonna sound bad as you're, or look bad as you, you're learning and that is okay. Make, get out there and make some ugly paintings. Don't be so afraid of messing something up that you won't push forward, that you won't push harder on something. So that was one thing that bothered me. And I hear this a lot. It's not just this person. This is something I hear so often. Oh, it was so good and then I messed it up. No, you didn't because it wasn't good in the first place. And let's be realistic. When we're beginners, and this is important, when you are a beginner, your artwork is not good. Don't worry about it. None of us are as good as a beginner. That doesn't mean you won't be good. And then, like in the case of this kid who painted the Gundam, it's not good, but I can tell he's going to be good if he keeps up with it, absolutely. We're so worried about messing up our beginner paintings, they're not good anyway. That's what we're learning. Get out there, paint those ugly paintings. Don't listen to people going, oh, you might mess it up, don't push forward. What? Why? Don't try harder because you might mess up? That makes no sense. Next one, and it started out so good. Harder edges and more contrast in your values. Good advice. But he didn't stop there. A black outline to help you define edges can help too. Yes, if you're drawing cartoons. This was not a cartoon. This was a live set, like he used a Gundam, he used a model, it wasn't a cartoon. Don't add black lines. And that's another thing, like if you're having a hard time defining your artwork, if your edges are just like, uh, my moon isn't standing out enough, don't take a black marker or a black line and outline it. You just made it a cartoon. It could, if you're going for a stylized look, that's fine. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about when you're doing realism, which is what this person was doing, even though it was a Gundam, a robot, but whatever. A black outline would not, all it's doing, yeah, it separates it, 
but it doesn't solve his problem at all. It just made it different. You, you created a new problem. If your subject, you drew a tiger and it just blends in too much with the background, you need to work on the contrast between the tiger and the background, not put a dark outline around it. Not gonna solve your problem. This one was one of my favorites. Actually, I think it's perfect the way it is. I know it not may not be what you want, but I see a lot of really good art on this page and people are trying to improve. I get that's the point of this subreddit, but I really wish more people would just chill and embrace their art for what it naturally is. The actual heck are you talking about? This person is advising you, just be happy with where you're at now. Don't try to improve yourself. Like, it kind of sums up our culture at this point. But this idea of art, it's where your art is natural. Your art is not naturally anything. Your art is just where you currently are skill level. That idea of this is as good as it's going to get. And I talk about this all the time with art. I don't know what it is about art, but people have this thing of like, you're just born with a certain amount of skill and that's just where you stay. It's the only profession where people do that. Can you imagine a doctor? You're really bad at suturing, but I want you to embrace your natural suturing skills. What? No one would say that. They'd be like, freaking go learn how to suture better. You're screwing that up. Everyone scars that you've sutured so far and those shouldn't have scarred. Mechanic. You're not very good. I mean, every time you I bring a card to you, it comes back to me worse, but I'm glad that you're embracing your natural skill. No, you go and learn to be a mechanic. And it is the same thing with art, this idea of just be happy with where you are in your art. This kid wanted to improve. He's looking to improve, and I think he will. I mean, given his, pers his perspective was amazing on this for his skill level in painting. Like, I really think that kid was gonna go far. That idea of just embrace what your art is, just be happy with where it's at. I'm not saying you shouldn't be proud of every single thing you, you do, you should. The fact that you just made something that didn't exist is something to be proud of. But don't stay there. Don't limit yourself. If you wanted to get better, if you saw somebody else's art and you thought, I wish mine looked like that. I wish I could be that good someday. You can, you absolutely can. You just don't take advice from Reddit telling you just embrace it for what you naturally are. Art, there's nothing about your skill level that's natural. That's not a thing. We all start creating crap and then we learn to create better crap and then better crap and then, wow, it's not really crap anymore. It's just kind of good. And then you get really good. That There's a progression there. That's normal. It's not something to feel bad about that you start with it being bad. But I think you need to be realistic that that is where we all start. And the, going back to what the one person was so worried about, don't I, I wouldn't want you to mess it up. You can't mess it up because it's not good right now. Could it be good? Yes. I mean, to me, it looked like he had basically an underpainting that needed to be finished, but which is very common. Most people call it finished too soon. It's not that the work is bad, it's just not finished. And that was certainly the case here. But you've got this advice from Reddit, and I see this online. I see it online. Reef keeping groups, dear God, you want some bad advice, join a reef keeping group on Facebook. But I mean, Facebook's like land of bad advice. But so be careful who you're taking advice from. If you can, go look up that artist's work. That is always a bit eye-opening because some people, the people who are taking the time to give the most advice are usually those who have never taken the time to perfect their own work, that are so determined you need to do it their way and that are just very forceful. They come across sounding like an authority on the matter, so you may think, oh, well, maybe I should take that advice. They sound like they know what they're talking about. Go look at their work. Is it what you want your work to look like? If not, ignore them. Professional artists not giving advice on Reddit they're just not. Professional artists are typically too busy creating their own work to be going onto forums and offering advice. I know I, I don't have time for it. Jason Morgan doesn't have time for it. You know, they're not going to Reddit and just offering strangers advice. Yeah, if somebody asks us directly or within our own art groups, I mean, I've got ours on Facebook and MeWe, but the expectation that you're gonna find find good advice from these locations, unless it's somebody's specific group. Again, like we've got our art group where a lot of us are giving each other advice. That's one thing, but these strangers on the internet, there's some, they're not, it's not that helpful. So there you go.